Hello there and welcome back to my PTS videos. Today I wanna talk about another mutated event called One Violent Night, where we are supposed to play music until the Night Stalker appears to just die the next second. And everybody is happy, cause we don't need to inflict any damage on him in order to get a suppressor war drum or whatever legendary it drops. Hey, what's wrong with you? Come on, guys. <laughs> We kill the innocent ghoul who meant no harm to us. Maybe he's even sub to my channel because he likes how I play bass. Root. Ooh, kiss do kiss. So on live server this event is piece of cranberry cake because it is super easy to farm sweet experience after you consume some relish and other buffs. You can just use this uh, juke box to fill the progress bar. But on PTS it is a big no-no, at least for the mutated event. I tried three times um, mutated version and only zero times not mutated version. By the way, don't do it, or you'll be like me. And I have no idea why I switch it off. Like really, really no explanation found. Okay, let me activate it back. Come on, please. Oh. So, as I said, on PTS is a big no-no, and by big no-no, I mean not being possible to fill the progress bar just using the jukebox. That means someone gotta play an instrument, and someone else needs to protect the rock and roll star. Another option is to go melee with guitar sword, or another related to music weapon. But uh, I'm not sure if you can solo this event now. At least uh, it is definitely not possible with ranged weapons. And sadly, we failed. But of course I tried again and this time I've decided to play music right away and let other guys to fight mobs. It was super clear that someone should heal me up. We need better chances to fill the progress bar fast. I used Steam Packs a couple of times at first, and actually I was about to ask them to heal me up with friendly fire, but lucky me, there was no need to ask them. One guy equipped Team Medic, and second teammate is preparing his mighty flamer. For this very purpose, better to use flamer with a standard nozzle for better range. And that is how we actually can win the mutated one violent night. Of course we can use medic weapons or steam pack diffusers. There are a few ways to heal your teammates, right? But you really need teammates. That is the key point for the next update. Bloody builds will die here and I'm down for the challenge. I really love actually the idea overall. But I think people will be complaining a lot. Is it the right way to balance builds? Um, maybe. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. Ah, yes. And what about players who prefer private servers over adventure mode? How are they supposed to win here? No idea. By the way, I'm running a challenge for my channel. I want to get 2k subs before 2023. And at the moment I need only 21 subscribers to achieve my goal. So I really need your help. Probably right now I sound a little bit tired because I was into video making the whole day. Today and yesterday. YouTube is a very interesting hobby, but I wish to have more of you around. Ooh, kiss do kiss. That is what we're gonna have in the future if Bethesda will not make it a little bit easier for us. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Are you down for the challenge or maybe you prefer to not struggle in the game? Maybe you are struggling right now and the future is filled with these hardcore moments you don't want to see. That's all for today. Big thank you for watching. I will see you later. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe another day, but I will. Bye 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 bye. bye.